guys today we are going to be doing the coverage of this the, the back of this car as you can see so this whole plate that exposes the the engine system so we're going to do the coverage of it so guys i will i will love if you will click the subscription button on on my page to subscribe to us because uh, really on this job now the lord is really taking us somewhere there is a purpose in why the lord want me to do this job you understand because uh he, i once saw in vision so many years ago that he was telling me that i can use the talent that i have to win souls for him you understand he said that i must not be a pastor before i can win souls for him so i'm really going somewhere i'm really going somewhere <laughs> a lot of people will, <laughs> will be like where did this guy actually change to to to, to become a pastor is it not is it is it, it's not that i'm a pastor but you know what i do is not what anybody can do to be sincere with you guys is really not what anybody can do anybody cannot do it this these are is a kind of selection and this kind of se uh, selection happen in so many departments the way i can do this there are so many things other people can do that i cannot do you understand that is to show you how great the lord is so god is still so so great so today i'll be doing the coverage of the back of this car so um, and I'll be running the cal calculation, you know, I have been working on all every aspect of this vehicle. I want it to be in a standard form, you know. Many years ago, I do see a lot of white people building cars, building a lot of things on YouTube, too, and I was like, what the fuck? How do these people get to do it? But the, the truth of the whole thing is that is is the law the lost doing, you understand? Because the devil does not give talent. The only thing he can do is to make your talent to manifest in the world. You understand? So from 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 there, I understand that these people put a lot of work, even though God is with, is with them. Because before God will work with you, you have to be someone that is de determined in a particular thing you are doing. You understand? So they put a lot in a lot of work for them to come that standard. So but even though this guy is still looking somehow, like he's looking a kind of tatter, but um. Uh, I, when the job on this car, when I commence the job on this car, you will really understand what I'm, I'm saying. But right now, you may not understand. What I'm just trying to do now, I want to do the basic as, aspect of it. The one that, I, I, that, that will be more complicated for me, then after that, I will start the, the main work on, on this. So please, if you are new to my YouTube channel, I would like you to subscribe. So stay with us. Let's proceed the work and see how far we're going to come today. So... So guys, today I'll be working on this now. I'll be whoa, I'll be working on trying to. So this I have actually actually I've actually cut this with the measurements of this angle part of the car, as you can see. So I've actually calculated everything because the calculation takes me a lot of time to do. But based on because I did not use to, I, I don't use to edit my video. I post it directly like that, and a lot of my videos are very long. So if I start showing you guys the calculation. The video will take too long, so that is why I prefer doing the calculation before I come and do the practical. So this is exactly what I've actually cost now. Although there is a mistake, you know, one of my biggest mistake and my biggest challenge in this job is alignment. The the lamp that I'm actually using to do do do, do this car is really not a, in a prone form. Like if you put palm on the ground, it will go. Some place will go up. Some people, uh, some places will come down. So because of that, it affects a lot of things on this vehicle. Even up to up, up to now, there's a way I will view this car. You will you will notice that this car, this, this tire is not in a straight form. But what I'm going to use to do that now to, to correct the tire is that okay. Let's say for example, the training of the hub. Let's say for example, the training of hub is a 17 bolt. You understand? And I use the 17 bolt to 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 fasten the the or five uh, fasten the hub on the on the rim so for me to achieve that then i have to you come down to a 13 bolt or a 14 bolt 14 15 bolts so that when the gap in between the hole that is never wow because if it is 17 now they use a 17 bit now which is very accurate so i'm going to use the one that have space like okay the 17 hole now i'll be adding a 15 bolt on it so because of that gap i can be able to adjust the tire and straight it up then i'll use a i'll be using 
spring washer to tie to to fasten them up because you know one of the advantages of a spring washer is that spring washer resists the power of mechanical vibration. Understand? Don't worry, when I get to that high level, you guys will understand what I'm talking about. So, but today now, this is what I'm going to be doing now. So, I'm going to be doing this now. So, you can see the way I mark it. So, I've actually marked it very well. Although, and the reason why I was telling you about the alignment issue, the the my the ground that I'm using not being level, it affected a lot of things on this car. And you know, I keep trying from if I move to this side, I notice that you if, if I try to adjust this, this side, I, I, not, I, I will notice that this side is always having a problem. You know, I try to do a lot of things, but I try my best to the level that I can, but. Even still yet, there's a lot of problem that I have. So maybe in my next project, by then I would have gotten a standard workshop whereby I can have a plumb ground and a lot of things. There's a lot of things I'm going to collect on this job. This can I'm based on the engine that I, I have here now. I think it's about, yeah, I, I made some research. You know, I told you guys this engine is a 150cc engine, but I made, I, I, I made some research about the, the engine. I noticed that it's, a, it's, it's 200. You understand? And be, being this 200 capacity, mm, no, no, the CC means, I think the CC in there means cubic, um, cubic a meter. I think it's a, it's a, it's a kind of American, American or German standard. So the CC, that is 200 CC, it actually means cubic meter. So, um, and that 200 CC actually produces about 8. 18 horsepower. So for that, now I think it's a kind of the engine is a kind of smaller to carry this whole body of what I'm doing. But the, the the plan of this vehicle was that this car is the kind of prototype. You understand? This engine was not the main engine that I was meant to use for it. But the reason why I'm using this engine is that when I, I started the car, I did not have money, much money on me. So and I want to achieve something. So instead of waiting. To give a squeeze or, or, or let me say let me start saving up the money because when you are saving money there is something about dreams when you are trying to save up money to achieve a dream maybe you want to get something of 200k and what you have at hand is 100k and you are trying to save up to that 200 and when you know um, or when you notice that there are some there's there's something that does the same work that you want to achieve that it can also be sold at, 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 at the price of 100k and you are trying to compete another 100k uh, making 200 to get that particular one you, you, are, you, are, you are looking for one thing about this thing is that uh, there is a lot of things that will come come along to eat up that particular 100k you have at hand so as for me, that is the way I, 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 I pictured it out so what I normally do is that if I have that 100k and what I meant to get is 200k I will use that Hyundai K to go and look for what the one that it can be so that at that particular price that I have at that moment, so that I will not end up in stories at the end of the day. So that was the reason why I'm, I'm using this engine. Maybe at the end of this job now, that was the reason why you can see the the engine, the the, the, the place for the engine. There's a, a lot of space there, so I designed it that way because if at the end of the day I have, I have money or I I, I I got a kind of sponsor, I will convert the engine into a bigger engine so but today let's see proceed on our job because there's no time for us again so I ha I'm having this now and, and another thing I'm always trying to work on is accuracy like if, if you have a tape now to, mo to measure from here to here you will see that it's also the same thing from here to here so I do take time to do my calculation very well Okay, let's leave that for another time. Okay, okay, see what I did now. So I try to create space for, for this tire now. You know, when you are driving now, look at you can see the first the first drawing that I, I did here. This is the first drawing that I did for because of this tire. When this tire goes on galloping, there is a possibility is no possibility. The law is that this tire has to go up. For the uh, uh, body of the car to go down, for it to be able to absorb the 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 bump or the shock that is actually meeting on the road, 
And for you to go now, you will see that the movement of this whole thing will change. So this was my first drawing from here to here. But I noticed that this particular drawing is too long for it. So I go for this second one here. You can see the way I did it. Okay, let me show you guys what I have at the end of the day. And I will try to make sure that I got it accurate as accurate as the way I've actually designed it. So you can see I've taken this particular part off now. So this is exactly what I have now. You can see. You can see what I have at the end of it. And me having this now, I also use that opportunity to create space for this chain because once this tire goes on 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 bombs, automatically this chain also go up with it and come down again. So that would the reason this is where the tire is meant to stop. If I am meant to follow the tire distance, so this is where the tire is meant to stop. So the remaining one now is actually for the, the, the is actually for the chain. So that is the reason why I designed it uh, this way. And exactly what I got here, I got here. I tried to use it, use it in in the other side. But there's a problem in the other side now. Here now, this calculation of this now. The calculation of this is very accurate. But in the other side, because of the plum plum issue that I'm having on my ground, that they are not level. Because of that, we have an additional. So, if I'm to put this over here now, if I'm to put this over here, so I see I'm still left, and I am I'm, I'm, I'm meant to add an additional half inch to this for it to warm it up. So, when if I am doing this cutting now in an original body, in, in, a, in, in the part that will be covering here now, here, let's say here is going to be, let's say here is going to be one foot. Why the other one, is, the other side is going to be one foot, half inch, because that is the issue that I have in trying to set up this this, this tire. I am not going to, I will not correct it on this again because it is just a kind of minor little issue. But I got the center of gravity of this car, but that particular one is just a kind of mechanical. But it, 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 it does not have any effect on the body of this car. Is that you, you, you even have you noticed that? Or if I did not tell you, it's only someone who is actually into the field that will understand that. Okay, here, the, 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 the distance from here to here and here and here, they are not that accurate. So it's just half mm, half mm, and half mm is about this. So it's really not that much. So let's proceed, guys. So guys, this now, this is what I bought. So uh, although I do spend a lot of money in this my vehicle, I bought this this particular mm, this particular design at the cost of eight eight k per each by each of them is is actually two. That that is sixteen thousand for the two. So the reason why I bought it that way is that eh, because of this now you can see this is a kind of opening. Oh, like a, a a kind of this thing that they use in opening the door. This, this actually belongs to a diesel generator. You can see it. You can see from this design now. It, it actually belongs to a diesel generator. I don't know how many horsepower that it has and that I don't know which model. But if you take a look at it very well now, you understand the generator that I'm talking about that owns this. It's actually a smaller one. I think it's a yeah a diesel smaller generator. So it's actually two. So this is the second one here. You can see. So I bought it because of this this this, this design that we have here now. You can see this is the kind of advanced way to open this car. It's instead of having a beautiful car like this and you, you and in some kind of places you are trying to uh, manage the idea of the technology. So what I'm going to be doing, I'll find a way to go uh, cut them off. You understand? Cut it off to the uh, to, to the angle I want. So let's see proceed the job guys. Let's see proceed.
So guys, you can see this job now. So I will be proceeding by going this way. So it's going to be staying like this. So let's see. Let me do the first one. Mm -hmm. So, so this is the first one. So I'm using this as my mold now. So I have to get it very accurate. I'm done with this particular one. So let me initiate the cutting. The cutting of it. And you know, in this kind of cutting, since I'm cutting with a, 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 a grinding din machine, that I'm really not using a fixed one to do to do it. So I have to find a way to make sure that my hand is very straight. My hand, my hand must be accurate. Where is this thing? Okay. So. to start like this by, by supporting the, the grinding like this So that is what I have now. So let's see. Then we'll see how. Then we will we'll see on the same page. Okay. Okay. We are good to go. 
So let me take off the, the second one. Then after that, I will start doing working on this as well as design here. So look at what I'm saying now. You will notice. You will notice something now. So you you will notice that the, the two of them are not equal. So this is the half inch that I have actually added to it. You can see from the line. From from from, from you can see from this line now. They are not actually equal. But let me see if we see the job like that. Just press it like this. Open. So same thing goes with this one. So you can see you, you, you can see something like that that look like a hook here. So it, it, if you be hooking somewhere here, like so when, when you do it like this, it opens. So you can be able to open it. So let's see proceed with the cutting of this edge. So let me see what I'm I'm gonna do about it because it seems it's gonna be a kind of difficult because of this. Mm, bending that we have here, but we'll still find a way to it. So, please, if you are new to my YouTube channel, I would like you to subscribe, uh, to subscribe to us. Thank you, thank you. I love you. Oh. So, guys, let's let's see proceed with the cutting of this. So let's proceed with the cutting. Okay. So we are going to use we are, we are going to use brain in, in doing the cutting of this uh, this edge. Let me see the do this one. Okay. Okay.
so like so how do I achieve this thing? Okay, see what is going to happen. I, I think I should do this the, the, this cutting from the inside so that it will not show off some some kind of trying to bend and he, he, he passes the plate so let me, let me do it from inside so I'm going to be taking it from here now so let me draw it, it what I mean by taking it from there so it's going, it's going like this So let me give it a turn and see what you're going to have. So I'm, I'm adding small ones so that I can form that angle well, so that it will not affect all the other places. that you can see what I have now so although I'm still I'm still gonna have to dress it very well so. so guys you can see what I have now you can see is it not in a very good curved edge so look at what I'm going to do now I need to have that air curved edge now you can see this pipe now it, it actually have a small a curved edge here so I'm going to be going like this
you can see what I have now. <laughs> it actually look as if to say I use a laser, a laser light in, in cutting it. So and this is, this is exactly how I try to do all my job, you know. When when you that is the reason why I'm telling you guys, if when you work with God, eh, there's a lot of things that He will expose to you. Okay, this is what I have as my formal curve edge before. So look at it now. You can see. It's actually matched very well at that angle. You, get, you can see what I mean. And the reason why I did not do the cutting, the reason why I did the cutting from inside, look at what I have here. You can see. Trying to achieve this, I have a, a kind of rough, some, some rough edge here. You can see that. So, that was the reason why I did it from the inside. Since this place is going to be the inside of, of it. So, when you want to open, you press here and it opens. So, at the end of the day, I will see go ahead. I guess you guys didn't see very well. So you can see that now. I have it like this. I see. So at the end of the day, I'm still gonna do the washing of it. Like when you see it, it this job will look like an in, 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 like an imported. What you are seeing now is the is the nozzle aspect of this vehicle. But don't worry. Let's see proceed with the other one. So which is this one now? Let's see, do the same thing that we have done here. Okay, let, let me just first use this. After this, then I'll use the smaller one. 